First question is from Bobby for fit. What are some definitive ways to know that I'm gaining muscle and not fat? Oh, this is a good question. This could Strength. be This could be very challenging yeah. when you're especially if you're somebody that has is challenged with going on a bulk, right? It's like, what if I'm gaining body fat? Adam said it, strength. Here's the thing with strength. I love strength cuz it's objective. You're moving more weight. However, you can also get stronger simply because your calories are up. That's right. And sometimes higher body fat percentage contributes to more strength. I notice for myself, my squats go up when I'm a little when I'm a little heavier with yeah. just body fat as yeah. well. So it's not perfect, but strength number one, number two, body fat tests. Body fat tests are the most accurate. They're not 100 percent accurate. There's nothing that's 100 percent accurate, but they're the most accurate way of seeing if you've gained or lost lean body mass or fat mass. I, I also think too. Um Visually, I mean, I feel like you you look like let's say you you've been training and you've been dieting, but the scale's not really moving much. This is why I like to t take a photo like every week or every other week. So yeah, I but have, there's a strategy there, right? Yeah. You take it at the same time. That's right. Every day, yeah. And that, so that, so it'd be you know Friday morning before I eat, always the same time. And it's it, all it's there is because mentally you mess with yourself if you look in the mirror every mm -hmm. day. You need to have something to, that you can look and you can like compare to, right? So if I look at a photo of me on Friday and then three weeks later, and let's say the scale has not moved, I've been training my ass off. Maybe I haven't seen much strength gains. I know I've been dieting. I'm following what I'm supposed to. I'm not sure. And then I look at a picture and I'm like, oh, okay. I definitely look better this Friday mm -hmm. than I did two Fridays ago. I'm probably heading in the right direction. And yeah, I like what you said about a week or two weeks. Yeah. Here's the problem I've seen with people doing this. They'll take an everyday picture. Yeah, that's funny. And there's, especially if you're starting out- Too much fluctuation. Yeah, especially yeah. if you start out lean. This used to screw me up. Yeah. Because I would start out lean and I'd say, okay, I'm going to gain now. And initially, when you gain, you're eating more, you hold more water. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm gaining body fat. But yeah. it wasn't. It was just a little bit and of water. Body fat's a little difficult, though, because the, the most accessible one, you're going to get those those scales where it's like they do, oh, yeah, yeah the, the bioelectric impedance. But really, the, the most accurate you have, your water displacement, your air displacement, so yeah. like your your bod pod or the, yeah. the, the dunk tank, which the, is the great. The da 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 You just <laughs> the, the dunk tank. That's what it's called when Justin goes in there. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, dunk. Yeah. The, the, the dunking. Um, <laughs> the dunk a dunk tank. <laughs> Watch exactly out! All the water's out of the yeah, tank. We yeah, put his butt in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to schedule it. I mean, like once a month, really is. I think it's that's plenty. No, it is. Yeah. So it depends on the person, right? So um, if I have somebody who is like overly critical or yeah. hung up, like I'll, I'll stretch the time out, right? Yeah. If you have a better relationship with this, uh, I can every week I'll do it. Like so, I for myself go every week. If I have a client who is like really, really tough on themselves, negative, or they don't feel like they see that, I might stretch them as much as four weeks. So yes, stretch it, especially long. if they're not like the leaner you are, the more frequent you probably want to test, right? So if you're starting out, yeah, if you're getting towards the end, yeah, like with Adam, for example, when he when you used to compete, right, you'd hit the stage at two percent or three percent yeah. body fat. You would want to after you when you're gaining from there, you probably want to check a little faster because that's right. You gain a percent or two fast, yeah. That lean. If you're at fifteen percent, your guy. You know, every once every three weeks. I like, here's the deal. The dunk can be kind of difficult because you have to pay. You got to go somewhere or have them come to your and house. There's a technique to it too. There is. I like calipers because calipers can be relatively consistent. Here's the challenge. Have the same person test you each time. Yep. Do it the same day, the same time. And then don't freak out over a half percent difference because user error, you know, when they're right. pinching your skin or whatever. How many coaches you think though have manipulated that just a bit so it made their client sure. feel better? Oh, sure. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's just it. That's and why I kind of throw that one out. Not, not, I know. And not only that, that's but such a good point. Dude, also, that all time. also water too, like, cause they're pinching. So there's, there's a lot of water gets in there with, if you, if you had like a bunch of water the day before, or had a bunch of sodium, you might be holding more water, yep. which will throw that off a little bit. That's so. why you gotta look at trends and give yourself some yeah. time. Yeah. But if you combine Pictures, body fat test, and strength. Yeah. I think the combination of those three metrics yeah. are probably give you a good perspective. And, be, give you the best and the, I think the main thing to take from this too is you got to be patient. People expect like totally. this, you know, oh, I've been doing this. I'm like, you've been doing it for three weeks. What did you think? You, <laughs> yeah, you, no. What the fuck did yeah, you think cool. it was going to look like in three weeks? And and you don't want drastic change in three weeks time. It should be very slow and gradual if you want it to be long-term success, right? Otherwise, it's going to happen really quick. It's going to come back on really quick too.